In this training session, we're looking at cascading items. So before I select my Coke case over here, I need to show you the setup. Once again, there's two steps. You've got to make sure that you switch on the option to be able to use cascading items under company details, and then you have to make sure that you link these two items correctly. So I'll take you to Utilities, Company Details, Default Settings 1, and over here we switched on Enable Cascading Items. Now what is a cascading item? Cascading item will allow you to link two items together so that you have a bulk item that you can, for instance, GRV, and a single item that you normally sell. You will be able to sell both items, but on your GRV it normally says you buy two cases of Coke. Now what we've got to do is we go to Stock Maintenance. And here under Stock Maintenance I've created my single Coke. It is better to have your single Coke as your main item because it's much easier to calculate or to see how much do you have on hand than having to look at the Coke case and then having to divide it or multiply it to see exactly what you've got. My Coke case, we said report to, so we have to report it to our single item. And then, very, very important, you have to specify your conversion rate. So if I buy two cases of Coke, it will multiply it with 24, which means I've got 48 single Cokes on hand. Okay, so now we go back to our GRV. And over here, all I now do is say that I would like to buy my Coke case. That's my, my price. You'll see that is our latest cost price. I'm going to say two cases and that will automatically show 48 single cans. Remember, the transactions will not be kept under the bulk item, under the item that you've report to. In other words, this code case is basically a linked item. The transactions will be stored under the single item. And that concludes cascading items.